Olympic athletes are starting to return home. You can see here fans gathered on a road in Texas to welcome back Simone Biles and Jordan Chilas. Signs were put up around the community in anticipation of that ceremony. The women earned silver medals as part of the U.S. team's all-around competition. Biles also won bronze for her performance on the balance beam. U.S. trap shooter and Olympic medalist Kylie Browning received a hero's welcome when she returned home to Arkansas. The silver medalist got the red carpet treatment when she made it home to Greenbrier and the 28 year old was honored with the Kylie Browning red, white and blue day. Hundreds of people gathered at the Reno Tahoe International Airport to welcome home Nevada's newest Olympian, Olympic diver Krista Palmer. She captured the bronze in the women's three meter springboard. An Olympic gymnast Jade Carey also received quite the welcome home last night in Arizona. She was greeted with hugs and cheers from family, friends and fans. Carey earned her first ever gold medal for her floor performance on Monday. And once again, we welcome back our friend and three time gold medalist Kristen Armstrong. Kristen, Seeing all these celebrations, it's just a whirlwind for them. I know you were talking about, you know, you're on this plane for 20 something hours and you come home and there's friends, family, but also all these people you don't know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I just saw all the images from all these different states, but I still have to say Boise has outdone themselves each and every time I've come off any of my Olympic games. And it is, it's such the highlight of coming home because you know, you always have to tell yourself that you have to do this for yourself, but deep in your heart, you're doing it for so many others. Yeah. So many others, like you mentioned, that you don't even know. And, and you come off the plane, and it's like this anxiety comes, almost oh more my than my gosh. race, like the start house. So you're being escorted, imagine down the Boise airport, and, and everyone's like on the sides. You walk through those glass doors that open. Well, first you approach them before you open them, <laughs> and you're like, oh my goodness. All of Boise has shown up tonight. Yeah. You open them and it's just like this roar. And I have to say, it's almost like the second medal ceremony, uh, though there's not a Makes podium, yeah. but there are kids and families and um, everyone just wants to, to, to let you know that they've been there for you. They followed you. They've watched you. Oh, it is crazy. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, it also can be overwhelming, meaning when you, when you come off that plane, just like you saw Simone Biles, there is an expectation, there's a new expectation. So whether you win or you don't win, there's an expectation to represent your hometown in a way that you want to best represent. You know, you want to be that, um, you want the next generation to look up to you as a role yeah, model. That's a lot of pressure. Right? And so, I mean, even going to the grocery store, you just want to, you just want to be there. You want to be present all the time. How yeah. many of us have gone to the grocery store where you just want to run in and run out, but it's, it's so important to me because of what the community of Boise, the Treasure Valley, the state of Idaho has done. Uh, but yeah, I think it, it's just an amazing feeling. <laughs> yeah, well, and probably for people um, in those communities, they're welcoming uh, these folks home to remember that there's kind of highs and lows and to be respectful. Absolutely, that. you know, yeah. when you do come home, you have left and you spend months and years training for one, Thing, which is the Olympic Games and there's so much light that's brought in along the way and then you come home and uh, one of the gals that I, I know well that just came home she said it best is which darkness fills all that light and it happens in life it's there's highs and lows and I think that these Olympic Games 2020 2021 whatever you want to call them it's going to be a turning point for mental health I think that we are all aware that this does happen there's anxiety there's depression there are so many things, so many ups and downs, and it's not just to say this is only for athletes. This is for community members, moms, business, you know, business yeah. people, um, men, it, it, it's dads, it's, it's everyone. So I'm just glad we're all recognizing what's out there, what to be aware of. But yeah, there's definitely the lows and then you have to kind of readjust and, and set new goals. Yeah. <laughs> We sure have loved having you on here for the last three weeks. We're still going to see you on the Ozone tonight and tomorrow with Absolutely. Jay. Absolutely.